If you're just starting out, or mostly editing 1080p footage, it's powered by a Ryzen 5 processor with Radeon graphics, which are good enough for basic editing in Premiere Pro. You get 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a 512 gigabyte SSD, which you can upgrade later. It has dual HDMI ports, USB-C, and Wi-Fi 6, so you're covered for most setups. The Geekom Mini IT12 is a good option if you're editing on the move or in tight spaces. It uses a 12th generation Core i7 chip with Iris XE graphics. It's got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a one terabyte SSD, plenty for most day-to-day -day editing tasks. It also includes USB 4, HDMI, and Wi-Fi 6E. It's quiet most of the time, though fans can ramp up during intense renders. It's not built for super heavy effects work, but for travel or casual editing, it's a solid pick. If you're looking for a Windows-based editing PC that's tiny but reliable, the Intel NUC13 Pro fits the bill. It runs on a 13th generation Core i7 processor and Iris XE graphics, which can handle 4K editing, though you might hit limits with heavier effects. With 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a one terabyte SSD, it's quick enough for most workflows. You get dual HDMI and two Thunderbolt 4 ports, plus Wi-Fi 6E, so it's ready for multiple screens and fast file sharing. It's a safe, dependable choice for editors who want a small, clean setup. If you're into Final Cut Pro and already in the Apple ecosystem, the new Mac Mini with the M4 chip is a solid choice. It's got a 10-core processor and graphics unit, which means it handles 4K and even 8K ProRes footage without much fuss. The 16 gigabytes of unified memory and 256 gigabytes solid state drive are fine for lighter projects, though storage upgrades can get expensive. It's super compact, has Thunderbolt 4, USB-C and HDMI, and supports up to two 6K monitors. Not flashy, but very capable. The B-Link SER9 is another Ryzen 9 based mini PC with integrated Radeon graphics and it's got plenty of muscle for smooth 4K editing. It comes with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory and a one terabyte SSD. The build is sleek and solid with USB-C, HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort all on board. Great for driving multiple displays, even up to 8K. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 are built in. For its size and power, it's a nice all-rounder if you need something portable and strong. The Minisforum UM790 Pro is compact, but packs in a lot of power. It runs on a Ryzen 9 processor with integrated Radeon graphics, which can handle 4K editing in DaVinci Resolve without a hitch. You get 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory and a one terabyte SSD, which is enough for most workflows. It also supports up to four 4K displays, and the dual 2.5 gigabit LAN ports are great for fast file transfers. It stays quiet with a dual fan setup. It may struggle a bit with more complex 8K effects, unless you use an external graphics card, but overall, it's pretty capable. The Geekom A8 is a powerful little box for editors who work with heavier footage. It runs on an AMD Ryzen 9 chip and integrated Radeon graphics which can easily handle 4K edits in Premiere Pro. With 32 gigabytes of fast DDR5 memory and a big two terabyte solid state drive, you've got room for plenty of projects. It's got USB 4, HDMI 2.1 and Wi-Fi 6E, so connectivity is solid. The only downside is that there's just one drive slot if you ever want to expand. But for the price, it's a strong Windows-based option for editing on the go. And that's pretty much it for the best mini PC for video editing. Thanks for watching and see you guys in our next video.